Hello everyone, this is Rome Wilkerson. I'm the chief photographer for Houston Professional Photography. I've been in love with photography you know, from a very young age. I think I started shooting when I was about eight years old, so it's been <laughs> quite some time I've been behind the camera. Uh, I'm going to do a quick walkthrough of um, a basic workflow that I use pretty much on a daily basis when I'm getting ready to present images to a client you know, after a shoot. And generally this process is done with the client still in the studio, meaning that after we, you know, transfer from the camera, if we're not shooting tethered, you know, this is going to give the client an opportunity to look at the images for the first time and they can make their assessments from there. Usually I go in and do just basic lighting adjustments when necessary. But as you know, most of this stuff is going to be done in post. Most of the time, I would say the client is really selecting the pose more so than uh, your lighting or you know any other type of glamour post editing that you're going to do so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pick one of these photos and we're just going to go through it real quick to show you how I get where I need to be as far as uh, being prepared to go to the next step so I'm in Lightroom right now I'm using Lightroom 2 and one of the first things I do is I go in and I make sure that my white balance is set you know in an image like this is relatively easy to do because it's basically black and white plus the skin tone. So even if I made my selection off the black, you know, you see we're getting a little uh, color cast here, kind of a greenish tinge. So you look for something in the image that you can white balance off of. In this case, obviously, there was not a gray card used. So we're just going to white balance off of the white wall that was behind the uh, seat where she was sitting. And go in a little closer, take a look at the skin tone, see what we're getting here. We can see our histogram here, but I'm not as concerned about this in Lightroom because most of the post work I'm going to really do is going to be done in Photoshop. So here are just little, little simple tweaks. Bring the black points up a little bit just so I can darken uh, this big giant shoe that she's on. Punch the clarity up a little bit. And then from there, I just jump straight over to Photoshop CS4. And we'll give that a second to load. Now, many times, you know, when you're shooting with the client, you know, ho hopefully you spend some time with them and you have an idea of what it is they're looking for. So, from that perspective, you already know you have a good idea what your post work is going to be, you know, because they will point out things that they don't like about themselves, their, their skin tone, their hair, their makeup, whatever it may be. And, you know, from that perspective, you can go in and start making very, very simple corrections, you know, just to give them an, an idea of where you can go with that image. So the first thing I'm going to do is here, I'm going to go to the patch tool and I see some things in her face that I want to correct, but I just want to correct them very quickly. So I'm going to zoom in and I think we can already see the problem area. So we just go lasso that. Drag that over. There's another little spot. About the same there. The rest, even though I could spend a lot of time, you know, correcting the skin, looking for all type of defects, but the objective here is to give the client an idea of what this image will look like after we go through and actually spend the time to get the image where they would want it so just to speed up the process usually I go in and I crop it to about where I think it's going to be on a print level so let's say that's pretty close and I use portraiture a lot of times to really speed up my workflow and it's come in tremendously handy when it comes to being able to demonstrate you know skin softening and things of that nature without having you know to have someone sit next to you and go through every particular step of it and if you're not familiar with portraiture, I will put a link for it up on the uh, on the side of this video. Well, basically what portraiture does is it goes and it targets the skin tone. And it allows you to give your client that airbrushed look without having to go through, you know, 10, 15 different steps. So just say if we go here and we look at the default skin tone only and we apply that action.
and you see a tremendous difference right off the bat. You see uh, the skin is softened. That applies to all of the skin. And let's look at before, which is Zoom back in. And as you see, that's a tremendous difference in the look. And that's overall what you want them to see roughly right away. Now, what I would normally do here is I would apply this as a mask and would give me better control so that the same action would not affect the floor, the background, things of that nature. But if you ever seen a lot of these type of shots, especially when it comes to girls, they like that dreamy effect of the image, that glamorous um, type of image they would see in one of the top glamour magazines. So this is a really quick way to get to that point, you know, in just a few clicks you know to be able to present this to your client so again uh, this is the products that I'm using is Photoshop Adobe Lightroom and a plugin called Portraiture and again like I said I will put those links up on YouTube here for you guys